please subscribe to help you and your motorcycle perform better. Dave Williams, editor here with today's video, our final installment of tire reading from 2018. Again, DOT tires. So this is our third video on DOT tires where it's concentrated about tire reading. Culled out all of the tire reading from everything that we shot in 2018 and just put it together. And this is the third one with DOT tires. We have one with slicks. So all told, it's about four hours, almost four hours of just strict tire reading. Dave tire reading and explaining what he sees and how you can read it yourself. So you should be all buffed up and ready to go for the riding season in the northern hemisphere and for whatever's left in the southern hemisphere. Here's a preview. My name is Dave Moss. For over 20 years now, I've been helping riders maximize the performance and life of the tires on their motorcycles. This is Contact Patch. So as far as a Dunlop carcass goes, it's very hard. When you sit on it unmounted, it doesn't buckle at all. So every imperfection of the road comes through the tire and comes to you as the rider. With the Pirelli, which is a much, much softer carcass, a lot of that feedback is either missing or hidden in that you just don't feel it because the carcass absorbs a lot more of the bumps and imperfections of the road and does not relay them through to you. So depending which way you go, if you go from Dunlop to Pirelli, you're missing information. The carcass is absorbing the road really quickly and taking a lot of that information away. Similarly, if you flick the other way around and go from a Pirelli or a soft carcass tire to a hard carcass tire, now you're inundated with information and your conscious mind is basically blown by how much information you're getting, which makes you go slower. So, when you figure out what carcass you need, it relates to are you ADD or are you not ADD? If you want a quiet ride with little information, turn the volume down, go with a soft carcass tire. If you need a ton of information and you are very hyper and you need that constantly, you need a hard carcass tire because then your conscious mind will settle down because it's getting the right amount of information to make it relax. Nameless bike, unknown rider, snooping around the pits at lunchtime, looking at tire wear. Every road bike on the planet <clears throat> will come with that piece of the tread pattern completely disappearing on the road. With the Pirelli, as a contrast to the Dunlop, our tread pattern ends quite a ways up from the edge of the tire. With the Dunlop, it ends almost at the very, very end of the tire. So when you're looking here at exactly the same issue, this is happening right on the edge of the tire. So if Frenchie tomorrow puts air in, the size of that triangle may reduce, it won't disappear, but with the change in air pressure, especially on the side of the tire, because this is a soft carcass, it's going to still flex quite a bit. All right, so we've got some S21s on this Yamaha. Leading edge is very tall right here, straight across. It feels like the rear is going to swing on you. Yeah. What pressure's in the rear? 25 uh, or 27? So the pressure's not an issue. Rebound on the tire shows that it's very fast, but up here it's not. So this is from coasting. So excellent on the gas, especially partial throttle, here to here. Okay. Okay, same tires? No, these are, these are newer tires. Okay, same brand? Same brand, yes. Okay, all right. But I haven't run these yet. They're, they're takeoffs from another brand. You've got nothing left. Huh? They're bold. Please be careful. Really? Yeah. Catch the full video at DaveMossTuning.com.